Uh, thank you very much for your presence with us today during this webinar. So my name is Wael. I'm a senior solution engineer with uh, FlyCloud. Uh, today's webinar is related to how to use ServerSync application to synchronize a local Windows file server with a FlyCloud server. Okay. So um, to start, um, we'll check the webinar topics. We will discuss uh, an introduction about uh, FireCloud Server Sync. We will check how it works. Uh, we'll give you a Server Sync demo, and finally we'll go through uh, Q and A. Uh, yeah. So to begin, uh, FireCloud Server Sync is an application developed by FireCloud. Uh, it synchronizes files and permissions stored on a Windows file server to uh, a FireCloud server, which can be in the cloud or on your own data center. So it maintains copies of the files and permissions in sync between the cloud and the on-premises storage. Uh, FireCloud Server Sync enables you a hybrid approach. So for your local users, they will be able to access data traditionally using UNC path or as an SMB share. And uh, for offsite users, they will be able to access data through FireCloud Teamfold, okay? So how it works, uh, to check how it works. So let me enable the pointer here. So, so we have a local Windows file server, okay? So the local Windows file server is synchronized with a file cloud server using server sync application, okay? So for local Windows file server, you have data and you have permissions. Server sync application will synchronize both into file cloud platform uh, specifically to a team folder. Now, the permissions are also synchronized into what's called a granular permissions inside FireCloud. For offsite users, they will be able to access the data through FireCloud team folder with the same NTFS permissions that you have on your, on your Windows file server with granular permissions. Okay, so um, to accelerate the process, we will go frankly to the demo to show you how it works, okay? So uh, one second, so let's see. Okay, so this is a FireCloud server. We're going to access the admin portal, as you can see. Now, uh, by accessing the admin portal, we will go to the team folders. So to give you an idea, team folders is uh, a place where you can create a team folder for your team slash department. So basically you can create, for example, a team folder for your support team, maybe a team folder for your marketing team. And you provide access, you share this team folder with a specific team with granular permissions. You give them access to only um, what's permitted. And so basically team folders are the perfect replacement for Windows file servers with uh, more control and visibility about what's happening inside the team, okay? So as first step, let's create a team folder. We will call it server sync demo. So we will create this team folder. Uh, the team folder, we will share this team folder with everyone. We don't want to share it with a specific team, so we will share it with everyone. Uh, for example, um, now, we will give them all the sharing permissions in this case. And you can see that this team folder is empty, okay? Now, we will get into uh, the Windows section of uh, things. So we can see that we have in the C drive a folder called server sync underscore demo. Okay, so this folder contains some files inside of it. And this folder has like, uh, specific permissions. We will focus on Jack. He has like read permissions only, and we will focus also on Whale. He has like full permissions on this folder. Okay, so this is the local Windows folder with specific permissions that we want to synchronize with the team folder from FireCloud. Now we go to the server sync application. So first step, uh, you need to connect to this, the server sync application to your FireCloud server. So you need login information. The first thing is server URL. You need to provide the server URL and an account to access the 
or to connect to your pipeline server. For this account, you need to use what's called team folder account. So basically team folder as an account is a system account that manages team folder. So in order to access it, you can go to settings, team folders, and then you can set the account if, you, if it's your first connection, or you can manage the account by resetting the password if you don't have the password, if it's if you don't have access to the password. Okay. So once you connect your server sync application to the file cloud server, uh, you go to settings and then you go to the server folders. And here's the step where you uh, configure the local folder and the remote folder. So we start with the remote folder. So the remote folder is a uh, server sync demo, we select it and we go to the local folder. The local folder is under C, drive, servicing, demo, and we select it as well. And then we select the uh, sync type. In this case, we want to be two-way sync. And lastly, the sync permissions from remote folder. So we don't want to synchronize permissions from the team folder to the remote folder. We want to synchronize permissions from Windows folder, which is the local folder, to the remote team folder. So in this case, we will leave this empty, okay? We added the folder. And then once we do that, we go to the home uh, section and we should see it uh, synchronizing or uploading files from the local to the remote. Okay, so we can see that uh, the files are uploaded from the server sync application to the team folder. So if we go back to the team folder, we should be able to see some data, okay? So we can see some files here. Okay, perfect. But if we check the permissions, we will see that the granular permissions are still empty. So we need to synchronize the permissions from the service sync application local folder into the remote folder inside PyCloud. So to do that, we go to the service sync application, we go to settings, import permissions, and then we do that. Remote folder, we specify the remote folder service sync demo, select, and then we select the local folder as well, which is C drive service sync demo. Import and permission import is done. So if we check now the permissions, we should be able to see, yeah, where with full permissions, as you can see, and then Jack with read permissions. Okay, so uh, before um, ending this section, we will access the user's interface and to, uh, using the PyCloud whale, and we will see how, will, how it will look from the user's perspective, okay? So uh, remember, whale has like full permissions over this folder, so we can access team folders. Um, do it again, so team folders. And we can see server sync demo. And then by uh, choosing this or selecting the server sync demo, we can see that we have full permissions over this folder. If we access it, we will be able to see the different files inside of it. Okay, so this is how a server sync application synchronizes data from a local Windows file server or local Windows folder into a team folder uh, using uh, with granular permission synchronization, okay? So uh, let's go back to the, um, to the PowerPoint. At this level, do you have any questions? So there is a Q&A &A section where you can um, write your questions. If you have any questions, uh, let us know, okay? I think there is no uh, questions. Um, the next step, you can go, um, for any support, you can contact our support team at help.codlet.com. Uh, you can visit also our documentation at getfightcloud.com slash support docs. And you can watch more tutorial videos at getfightcloud.com slash fightcloud dash tutorial dash video. So thank you very much for um, your presence with us today. I hope uh, the webinar was informative. Thank you.